scientists have discovered something pretty cool at the bottom of the Gulf of California. Uh, they found a fairy floss colored underwater oasis that looks otherworldly. So Dr. Mandy Joy from the University of Georgia and her team uh, ventured 2,000 meters, yes, two kilometers down into the Gulf with the intention of studying hydrothermal vents and the environment that surrounds them. When they reached the area they wanted to study, they were pretty surprised to find mineral towers to which some were around 23 meters tall. So these towers feature volcanic flanges uh, that create an illusion of looking at a mirror uh, when observing those superheated fluids beneath them. Um, how hot are these fluids, do you think? Geothermal vents? How does 366 degrees sound? Fairly, fairly hot. Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius, do we know? It's hot. They're American, so I'm guessing Fahrenheit. So these towers and vents are teeming with biodiversity and potentially undiscovered fauna. Dr. Mandy Joy went on to say, this is an amazing natural laboratory to document incredible organisms and better understand how they survive in extremely challenging environments. So this statement only proves one thing, the awesome movie that is the Meg could in fact be real, but it's not, and the Megalodons are just biding their time, but they're not because they're extinct. Yeah, Sean Reaney used to stop writing these scripts. The Meg! <coughs> the Meg is real! It is fascinating. Every time there was a fact, every time they go down to the bottom of the ocean, at least 10 new species are discovered or something like that. Yeah, one of them is going to be the Meg. Uh, anyway, it is great to hear that something isn't dying in our oceans, plastic isn't killing these microorganisms. I suppose the plastic would melt. Yeah, what, well, 360 or 366 degrees something. They're just breathing it in. Um, so yeah, plastic isn't killing these organisms, bleaching isn't killing them because sunlight and whatnot isn't getting down to them. Uh, they're just loving life, chilling by volcanic vents, and the pink tint is pretty cool too. You don't tend to see very sort of vibrant colors um, to because why there's there's no light to physically see it. It's pink, it's pink there. So what do you think about this story? Should more research be done in the area two kilometers down? Let's have a chat in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.